as the freeze frame image I selected for Oolong suggests, uh, and you remember from the animation, the pointing out that he is a Soviet soldier. And that is representative of what Oolong was. Oolong was a real person. He was a created suicide soldier. Created for one simple mission and devoid of all other humanity that was necessary in order to accomplish that. As it was not expected for this person to survive. And this person completed their mission and did survive against innumerable odds. I don't know what exactly the mission was. All I do know was is that the person prevailed and the psychological effects of after a completed mission were what was demonstrated in the person. This person was selected by either Cobra Commander or Destro, the Golden Cobra, later called it Cobra Commander, um, because, uh, and I guess you just might not expect this, uh, the, you know, we're not criminals, nor were we ever. The thing is about Cobra is is that uh, Cobra and G.I. Joe uh, were essentially always the good guys righteous in their own right. The chaos caused by a real problem through the most unlikely people uh, uh, and former enemies even uh, together. And, uh, this person was a fallout from the Cold War and ended up being, uh, we didn't have access to people who were good, guaranteed to protect you. Uh, and, um, and what we needed was people who were able to stop somebody who would not give up in their attempt. And so we needed a killer. A real killer. Oolong, the Soviet, was that person. And his mind was so broken uh, from completing his mission, whatever it was, uh, uh, that... Uh, he was only good for repeating similar things, and was salvaged, essentially, by Cobra Commander and, uh, 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 Destro, uh, in, I guess you'd say, a joint effort. Um, but it, I guess it depends on the way you look at it. My memory is so compacted together that, um, the formation of my opinion, now that everything's all said and done, and the Cold War, essentially, people think it was long gone, um, uh, amounts to this. And, as the consequence might suggest, um, having somebody who is mentally unstable, armed, and built like, you know, a tank, uh, uh, wasn't exactly the best, uh, situation. Um, the reason that Oolong was there, uh, and appointed by one or the, one or the other, um, of the, uh, leaders at the time, is because the finders do not give up. And so, when they 
come and they come in a group. Uh, if there's only one person, they think that they can be successful. But if they are dealing with somebody like this, uh, you know, they, you know, they would be easily defeated and they needed to make sure that the finders did not get away to go tell other finders. And we needed somebody who would leave only in the right circumstance and make sure that nobody was able to let anybody know where we were. And so, um, anyway, being cooped up in this uh, house with me and Bulma, Oolong, being broken in the mind, uh, took advantage of Bulma, my caretaker. So, yeah, that's, you know, but, you know, in the end, uh, you know, uh, in the end, I actually did fight him, of course, you know, he was an adult and I was a little kid, so, it went the way, you know, it, you know, you would expect it to go. But the truth is, at the end of the day, uh, now, I tell you the story. The person was an important part of the group. When they did find us, they didn't warn the others. So, uh, yeah. So something terrible had to happen in order for something Wonderful. I have to have. Looking back at it. So, anyway, this is homage to the people we love to hate along the way, but we could never do without. You have to tell a story. If people want to hear, you know, an adventure was truly real. And it is. So, next time, I'll introduce you to somebody else. I hope that was coherent. Thinking about it and talking about it triggers memories of, you know, conflict when I was younger, so hopefully you understood what it was I was saying.